guys, so today I'm going to be going through all of the Harry Potter badges I have. This is a Harry Potter badge collection video. Um, I have quite a lot of Harry Potter badges that I've collected over the years. Um, what I'm showing you is a, is a small section of my collection since many of mine are on bags and in various other places and <laughs> I just do not have the time. Um, so go and find them all. But this is, uh, I mean, actually this is probably most of them. So I'm just going to go right into it. So this is my newest addition to my badge collection. This is a Noble Collection um, house pin collection, which I bought off a friend. Um, they have, I got this and the um, Gringotts coin collection for £20 on like a, because it was from a friend. Uh, you can get these online. I'm not entirely sure how much they're going for. I think new they're roughly between 40 and £45. Oh, I could be wrong. They might be a little bit less than that. Um, but you get a Hogwarts crest and then each of the four houses and they're just little pin badges and they're just, okay, I don't know how to get these out, but they're really just little pin badges and they're really cool. I really wanted a prefect badge, um, but uh, every time I've been to studios, they haven't had them. And for ages, they only had head boy badges. Then I found a head girl badge and it's nice. It has a sort of a rubber back to it, uh, which I think is on this one. Yeah, which is really nice if you're wearing it on a top that's uh, directly onto your chest or something it's just a lot nicer and more comfortable uh this was 6.95 or 7.95 which i thought was a really good deal and it's really solid quite heavy but um just a really nice piece and they do head boy ones in different colors as well this next bag next badge is um one i got before they even set up a shop at harry potter studio uh the platform line quarters at king's cross um back when there was literally just a bookshop and like this tiny wall plaque um, in the bookshop they did have a couple of bits of Harry Potter merchandise, nothing like what they've got now though. And um, I bought this Hogwarts crest for I think six or seven pounds and um, it's just really cute and it's nice uh, if you wear it on like a little button up shirt and things like that. They, I don't know, I like wearing them because they look like little brooches that you can make to just add like a fandom touch to your outfit without being too like, uh, I'm wearing loads of Harry Potter merchandise, just like a little touch that's actually really like, classy and nice. This is something that my dad got given at work from a friend because they knew that I loved Harry Potter but I think at a meeting or something they all got given them when they were discussing something to do with Harry Potter and um, it was on the 10th uh, anniversary celebration and you can buy these on eBay and I think they're going for about £15. I'm not entirely sure if they're on any they're on any now but uh, a couple months ago when I looked just out of interest to see how much they were going for they did have a couple uh, but it's a anniversary celebration uh, pin badge it's sort of the, the golden snitch with HP and then it says celebration 10 years and it's really cool. I really like it. It looks nice if you have a shirt collar and you can pin it on either one. I wear lots of shirts so uh, it's something I always used to wear. I got this from the platform 9 three quarter shop at King's Cross. This was five or six pounds. It's a tiny little pin. Um, in Gryffindor they have all of the houses and they have a Hogwarts a general crest one. Um, really nice. Again, really subtle and it looks nice just pinned on um it just adds a really like classy nice vintage look to an outfit especially if you wear sort of vintage style clothes anyway like i generally do um it can just add a really nice look that's why i love all these type of pin things now i have here a handful of these little pins that you can get at the platform nine three quarter shop for 99p there or a pound um and there's so many different ones i must have got about 20 of these over my time there but these are the only handful that I can find at the moment because I lost a lot that were on my school bag. But they come in loads of different uh, designs. There's a Gryffindor one there. And you can buy packs of them now, which you never used to buy. There's a Quidditch one. And you can buy packs of slightly bigger ones. This is a Hogwarts one. I did have all of the other houses. But again, struggling to find them all at the moment. A lot of them are on my mirror as decoration and stuff like that. But um, yeah, Pound is really cheap for a really nice little, little thing that you can put on your school bag or anything like that. It's, I just think it's pretty cool. Finally, I have my badges from the times I've been to studios when there's been stuff on. Um, I've been to Hogwarts in the Snow like for three years. This is my first year not going. Uh, I, ha I can't believe I didn't make plans to go this Christmas. I'm just kind of gutted about that. But hopefully I can go for my birthday next year. I really like that since I'm, uh, I'm turning 18 in March. Um, but you get a badge usually from Hogwarts in the Snow. I only got one last year. The last couple of years I didn't get given one. And then when we went to visit the Hogwarts Express when it was new, I got two badges um but they give them out at creature week and you get special ones if it's your birthday and they're free um so that's at studios and like whenever they do like uh, dark arts week things like that they've always got stuff going on and they give out badges relevant to that so that's all the badges i know this was a bit of an odd video but like my <laughs> noble collection badges came in the post today 
and um, I wanted to do a video that involved them somehow and um, I thought well why not do a badge collection since I've got quite a lot of badges although I realised you know, upon reflection I don't have that many but because most of them are missing at the moment but um, yes I'm home all day tomorrow although I have a big audition on Sunday so I need to be learning my monologues properly and practicing my songs and stretching and whatnot because the audition on Sunday is going to be cra crazy hard um, but uh, I'm gonna film a video, I might film a couple, uh, just in case I don't have chance to do all that many next week. But I'm, I'm keeping up with Vlogmas so far and I hope you're enjoying these videos. And um, I'm taking board all your suggestions and just keep them coming because I love hearing from you guys about what you want to see. And I want to make things that you guys want to watch. So um, I'll keep doing that. This time next week I'm, I will be in London about to go and watch Elf the Musical and I think I might cry. Also, um, right now... My life has been taken over by Hamilton the Musical, and if you haven't listened to the soundtrack, please go listen to the soundtrack, because it will change your life forever. And if you follow me on Tumblr, then you'll realise that my, my Tumblr is dedicated to Hamilton right now. Uh, I just thought I'd interject that in the last minute of this video, because you all need your souls to be saved by Hamilton. Bye!